everyone, I'm Karen and I'm a digital nomad. Um, first of all, I would like to say that um, I began as someone who was looking for money after my allowance from my scholarship was cut off. Uh, back in college, that was I think in 2011, so that's many years ago. And that's where I discovered that there's um, this you know, perk of being a freelancer online. So I get to earn from my passion, which is writing. So currently I work as a writer, but um, it started way back in college in 2011. And then um, after finishing my <laughs> master's, I uh, tried to apply not really after, but, but during, uh, along the time I was finishing my uh, master's. Um, I also tried to apply again as a writer um, for um, a few companies online, and then eventually I got accepted. And then later on I tried working in the office. So I could compare my experience um, in those two different worlds, totally different worlds. Um, being in a physical office, just working anywhere as a digital nomad, okay? So, um, well, um, some people would term it as a cubicle world, working in a physical office, and um, you need to clock in and clock out at certain times, like usually 8 to 5, but that depends because especially if you're a teacher, you have to extend some hours if you have classes in the evening, and um, if you need to do some overtime work because of other jobs, not necessarily in your um, job description. So um, for me, that was taxing and I wanted freedom. The freedom that I had experienced back when I was in college, I was studying still, but I was also earning at the same time, choosing my hours in which to work. And then um, that was, that was fun for me and I was earning a lot more to be honest because I get to pick um, those those jobs that give you so much more per hour so I'm not saying that when you do the regular office jobs you you, you don't um, earn as much you could but it will take some time you know you know how it works like um, you need to earn the 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 acknowledgement and um, the position um, that could give you so much. Yeah, yeah. So, if you want to to earn fast, so that you can, let's say, invest in something like uh, what I'm planning to do now, uh, invest in real estate. You know, be established, um, um, build your emergency fund, and um, just be financially free, quote unquote. Um, it, it's faster here, I think. If you just know how, where to where to acquire legit jobs, and if you know how to sell yourself, if you know how to market yourself, there are many many groups on Facebook that teach you how. Um, one one Facebook group that I like is um, Flip. It's called uh, Freelancers in the Philippines, and there you can um, join. I mean, you can you can join the group, and then you can um, you can receive pieces of advice from those who've been there and done that. And you can also join. They have boot camps. Um, I haven't I haven't joined yet, but they have boot camps, and they will teach you how to get started. And it's really fun. And by the way, I, I'm best friends with Blessy, so. Um, what we want to try is to travel around Asia. We, we tried Taiwan already. And we just want to experience Asia and then maybe Europe. That's our big, big, big dream. But we, we need to um, save a lot of money for that. Um, for now, we also want to get established first uh, in terms of our finances. And we want to learn how to so, you, know, you know, in freelancing and, and being a digital, digital nomad, you can earn a lot, but it's not as steady as you might think it is. Um, you need to budget and you need to save, okay? So you, you can earn a lot, but it's not all the time. It depends on um, your projects. But 
you would be lucky if you if you if you get into some permanent you know contract something like that um, but, but those kinds of job will, jobs will typically require you to work uh, like eight hours a day yes. so for, for those jobs which are project-based um, it depends on you uh, how you approach that um, you, you you're free to schedule your work those are, I think are, are good if you have like certain projects uh, let's say you want to go you want to go on a vacation this December you can't accept a project that's not time-based not permanent but at least it's project-based so once you get the money um, you can assign that to, to some to some project that you have let's say vacation whatsoever or uh, I don't know uh, a treat for your family perhaps anyway <laughs> so again um, I I just like to wrap it up um, it's fun to be a digital nomad because of the freedom in terms of time schedule uh, and the money is good if you know how to market yourself and you know uh, which channel to go to and um, you you ask the experts okay? you ask those who have been there and done that um, if you don't know anything about something or if, if you if you're not really an expert in a certain field because there are many many fields so there's writing and there's there's um, web designing Photoshop graphic arts just be sure you're choosing the field in which you're really good at and then you can earn a lot um, yeah if you, if you if you go in a field where your passion is so I think that's it so yeah um, well uh, if you want uh, to if you have if you're a mom or a dad who would like to have more time for your kids and just attend um, their events at school without being pressured that you have to leave the office or something then I think um, being a digital nomad is something that you would want to consider. But just yeah, just be sure first um, before you 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 quit your work. Um, I suggest that you establish your your profile first. Um, sign up with let's say for example Upwork or OnlineJobs.ph, and then join groups those Facebook groups that I told you about. And then um, from there, learn during your free time. And then as you're establishing yourself and you later get some contract, then you can start to detach yourself from the physical office and then just go anywhere you want to. So I think that's about it. Thank you so much.